In this video, we will create a 3D pop-out effect in Photoshop CS6 Extended. It will be simple, it will be super fun and I know uh, it's not a difficult thing because we will completely create this effect using only Photoshop. You will not use any third party uh, plugin. So let me just show you what uh, we are going to create first. So this is a simple image, uh, sorry it's a effect and uh, you can make it like this or you can create it like this it totally depends on your choice and on your end so uh, there are not so much layers inside that we will just use a couple of layers uh, some we don't need and something we will use so you can see the effect so let's start our work without wasting any kind of time Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and I am so 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 much sorry about uh, being uh, absent from last uh, 7 or 8 days because uh, my midterm was started. I was uh, uh, submitting my papers because the papers are started from uh, the 3rd of June and after that, before that my project was uh, about to complete so I have submitted my project successfully and uh, my papers are started today was my second paper there are two papers left that's why i'm a little bit busy but i thought i should just make a video in between my exams so let's start our work without wasting any kind of time and without further wait so this is a simple image first of first thing we have to do is we will create a copy of this after creating a copy uh we will create a selection around our character so uh, in simply, हम इसके git selection बनाएंगे. Actually, I am covering two languages ताकि आप सबको समझने में भी सानी हो जाए. हम इसकी selection बना रहे हैं. Okay, so hide this background layer. Create a mask on this layer. You will see everything is gone. Now right click on this and click on refine mask. Now we will simply just zoom it in and we'll refine out the uh, we can say that mask out the area which we don't want to use nice don't worry about these white lines we will fix them later we'll click on output to a uh, new layer with layer mask and click on ok once you click on ok uh, you will see this thing uh, let's create a black background to see the white uh, color so we'll create a new layer and we'll fill this with uh, black background so we will press alt plus backspace now we'll select our layer copy select its mask and press ctrl l to call up the levels now we'll pick and take it to the side until we will uh, uh, get rid of this uh, we can say that uh, black color so i think it's nice and much better here so click on ok and you will see there are something left uh, our area so we'll select our mask tool and then go to brush select your foreground color as black i think so and let's see if it works no i uh, will make it uh, white oh sorry yes it's a white now i uh, will simply just uh, get back our area make this uh, a little bit hard okay so i think i am fine with this uh, selection we will delete the background and now we only have our character and some background layers so we'll delete the background layer and we have one background layer and one character layer so we'll name this layer as a uh, uh, model now uh, as we know we have a model and uh, we'll create a copy of a background like this and you will see we have a complete background but before we doing anything else we need a layer which looks like it's uh, we can say that uh, looks uh, uh, perspective so we will create a new layer we'll go to selection and create a rectangular marker tool and we'll click and create the tool 
where it looks much better just uh, like this I think it's nice here yes or uh, I think yes this is nice so what we'll do is uh, we will fill it with any color for the time being uh, we will use a color of uh, gray color just for getting idea now press ctrl D now we have a background now press ctrl T and we will uh, click on perspective but you can see that I am not going to do that here just cancel this we will convert it into a smart object and then we will go to double click on this and we will come into the layer styles click on uh, stroke and stroke should be uh, let's see outside and make the stroke to about like 20% uh, is nice or I think it's uh, inside much better so it should be nice about 25% change the color to white so we could look it much betterly now click on ok and we will change the blending option defaults uh, the fill opacity should be 0% and click on ok now we will press ctrl T and we will click on uh, perspective and we will simply just make it look like this just move it like here and then spread this and same thing uh, at the same time and press ctrl T then we will make it smaller little bit like uh, here I think it looks nice here and then spread this like here I think it's uh, it's much better now we'll click on uh, uh, wrap I just wanna make it a little bit more interesting pick the centers and take them outside same thing from this side looks nice now click on ok that looks perfect I think I'm I, I'm getting nicely uh, the effect so let's press ctrl T and I want to make more uh, wrap let's just uh, make it a little bit upside maybe if we check no it, it it's not looking so much good so that's nice so click on uh, check mark and let's just do it again um, uh, it's a wrap I think it's nice so click on check mark and now I'm fine with the settings now what we'll do is we will simply just uh, create a control press control and click on this uh, stroke uh, layer which is uh, bended now and we'll select our model layer and we will create a copy of this model first to have a backup now we'll turn off the layer select the layer mask and we'll press alt plus backspace I think or uh, yes uh, alt plus backspace now press control D and you will see uh, we have a complete girl background you can see that and it's basically inside effect so what we'll do is um, we will simply just uh, uh, pick this uh, layer and take it on the front and you will see the effect now once we will turn this off you will see the effect is here but we want to remove this so we'll create a copy of this uh, curve layer but first we will name this layer as uh, uh, we can say that um, plane let's just call it plane oops sorry plane now uh, we'll copy this plane turn off the first layer rasterize this layer or without rasterizing this yes just uh, we just need to rasterize layer style and there we have the layer now we will simply just uh, uh, remove this uh, it's uh, easy procedure how we can do that is simple uh, we will simply just press brush create a mask on this layer and size it up 
and we'll create a selection I think so yes that's a selection and we'll uh, select and uh, let's just uh, make it black to see yes that's nice and that's also nice you can see everything is removing nicely now press ctrl D and let's see which layer is appearing here so I think it's nice that looks much better as you can see now we have a background and a girl layer let's just uh, do some more things uh, on this image to make it look like different from the other this uh, background layer so how we can do that let's just turn off this and we will create a shadow of this so how we can do that is simple copy this plane and uh, you can see now or simply just uh, copy this plane and delete the layer mask and we will apply this now press ctrl T and before we do that create a selection or I think we are wrong uh, create a copy of this plane oops sorry uh, this background plane and rasterize this layer and rasterize layer styles also and uh, or if you can turn off the stroke and we can fill it with a black color once you fill it with black color you can see that uh, the black color let me just show you the black color is here if you can see that you can just turn on this layer and change the full uh, fill opacity 100% and you will see the shadow now uh, as you can see that the shadow is on top so we'll take it right under this layer and uh, we'll go to filter blur and Gaussian blur now you wanna make a little bit blur not so much like this or just press ctrl T and now press uh, under this and then go to perspective and skew this out like this and make it like this and then go to skew and I think it looks much better here so click on this check mark and now we'll blur this go to filter blur Gaussian blur I think or we can say that uh, iris blur I think tilt shift was much better so we'll turn on the turn off the iris blur turn on the tilt shift that looks nice take it right under this oops sorry now we'll increase the blur amount like this I think 25 is nice uh, yes come on and click on symmetric distribution and click on ok that looks much better I think so turn on the uh, turn off the foreground turn on the layer mask and then turn on the background and after that we'll make it a little bit of uh, light color like this and right after that uh, we will uh, create a black and white filter so select the background layer delete all other layers we don't need any other layer so I think it's nice now select the background layer go to uh, mm, uh, adjustment masks and we'll select uh, black and white so it's applied on the background layer only and now we will apply some colors on our layer but before we apply let's create a our foreground color create a new layer name this layer as uh, BG color so all the effect depends on this layer so we'll fill it with a light right gray color like this click on ok and press R plus backspace now this effect looks like this or you can just uh, turn down the opacity like this looks better 
if you want to see and now we'll select our model layer and apply some of the colors like uh, some uh, vibrance to make it look much better and uh, some kind of uh, levels or simply just uh, make it layer mask same thing for this like make it layer mask go to rgb and change this blue and we will apply some of the colors like not so much blue just a little bit oops it's too much so let's just stick with 1.04 then go to red okay great that looks much better now we'll create some light so we'll create a new layer on top of this call this as a uh, light select brush tool i have created several times uh, this uh, light you should have to be understand about that uh, like this i think it's uh, nice here so we'll press d to default the color and we'll change this foreground color to yellow like this and first uh, increase the hardness uh, to 0% and then drop this two or three time then right uh, change the foreground color to like this and like this. that that's nice now make it uh, lighten uh, lighten or screen i think screen is nice now press ctrl t uh, take it downside and increase this like this that looks nice but this red filter is not look so much good so we'll double click on this go to red and decrease the red and same thing for blue and now we'll select the green color let's just go to color balance that's nice now we'll go to selective colors make layer mask on this and we'll select the reds and see how these reds will be affect our image so that looks nice now we'll go to uh, blues that's nice go to cyan and now we'll go to black yes that looks much better uh, maybe it's nice here yes and now go to neutrals play with the setting and you will see uh, a lot more cool outputs uh, it looks nice here yes it looks much better now i want to apply only a filter which is channel mixer no it's not channel mixer let's just delete that I want to apply a photo filter which is yellow and only applied on this layer. That looks nice. Let's just uh, change this light color. You can change the light color by applying UV saturation on this layer. Make it colorize and you will see you can play with the settings. You can use any type of light. I think it looks nice. So uh that's the basic effect and uh, i hope you like this effect if you like this effect and found this video very helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up we will meet in our next video never stop never depend do not forget to subscribe and keep learning